Times Influence. Sometimes, in our body, one part or organ becomes dangerous for other organs. So even if it's important, we we'll need to choose in between them. Dr. Sweet, I've been looking for you. There's an emergency and I need to consult with you. Oh, what is going on? Dr. Khatri has a brain tumor. Still, I choose it to keep it to me now. But sir, you don't have much time left. I know. S sir, this is... That's why I don't want to choose between my tumor and my remaining life. You need to tell this to Simha. No. This... No. It will be my choice when to tell my daughter. As doctors, you have to respect my privacy. Am I clear? Am I clear? Yes. Good. Get back to work. It's a minor injury. Yeah. I don't think we need to be serious about this. Hi. 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 You seem busy. Oh no, it's all right. Tell me. You forgot. Uh, we had dinner plans. You only planned it. Oh, yes. I'm. I'm sorry. Uh, just give me thirty minutes. You sure? I mean, if you're busy, we can go some other night. No, absolutely. Uh, I'll meet you in thirty minutes. Sure then. Bye. Bye. One part of our profession demands respecting the privacy of our patients. 
and to keep the personal emotions aside. I hope you understand that. Hi. Hi. So, uh, are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Yes. You don't seem so. No. I mean, you're looking lost. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. It's, it's just that I was thinking that uh, is it okay if we could maybe go to dinner some other time? It's just that, you know, the emergency um, and they need me here and... No, no, I understand. Absolutely. So, uh, I guess uh, I'll see you tomorrow then? Yeah, of course. Yeah, hi Pratik. Good morning. Uh, please cancel my first meeting. Keep it post lunch. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Okay, Deepak. I'm leaving. See you later. Hashu, wait. I'll drop you today. What about your office? Don't worry. It's an easy day today. Okay, then let's go. Hashu, I know this is not the right time to talk about this, but I'm literally tired of waiting for the right time. What is it about? Hashu, when are we going to start our family? Can we please talk about it later? I have an emergency waiting for me. You please go to your office and I'm, I'm rushing to the hospital. Doctor, this is patient Reema, 25. Uh, P1L1A0. She was discharged yesterday from a private hospital and she came to us with a bleeding C-section, stitch line and full vagina. And her hemoglobin is 6.8. Earlier it was 10.4. Her ABG and coagulation profile are deranged. I think it's a case of a tonic uterus. Where's the family? Inform them. We need to rush her immediately to an OT. Yes, doctor. What's happening? Oh. Would she be okay? So you are? I'm her husband. Jatin. Jatin Mehta. What's going on with Reema? Mr. Jatin, right now we're examining your wife. She's in safe hands, don't worry. But right now it's really difficult for us to tell you something. Can you please wait outside? We'll get back to you with further details. Excessive bleeding has led to hypoxic injuries to many organs. Simov, please send somebody immediately to the blood bank for blood transfusion. Sure, doctor. Looking from outside, sometimes might not give you the idea of underlying pathology. Many times, externally tissue seems healthy, but inside, blood supply to organ is hampered and it's already moved in direction of gangrene. Mr. Jatin, Reema's uterus has not been contracted after the delivery because of which she's been bleeding badly. How does this happen? Because of excessive bleeding, her internal organs have been affected. Because of which her kidney functions have been compromised. We need to remove her uterus to save her. For this, we need your consent. What does this mean? I mean, is it safe? This is what we need to do. It means that she'll never be able to conceive again. Can't you stop the bleeding any other way? 
medicines, drips. Her first child is a girl. He will definitely need at least one more child. Ma'am, we're really running out of time. It's better we lose her uterus than to lose her. You really need to take a quick decision. And a doctor knows very well what to do with a gangrenous tissue. You need to cut it off from the body to save the patient. And there is no other choice. One can't have it all. At least a remaining tissue will be healthy. Kapit Jira? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. Go, Bittas. Go to Mama. Kapit Jira, please. Okay. Mr. Deepak? Dr. Hashita's husband, right? Yeah, but I'm so sorry. I did not recognize you. I'm Dr. Sumit. Hi, Dr. Sumit. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm neurosurgeon here. I know, I know. I think there was some emergency today and Dr. Hachita might be busy there. Yeah, I know. She told me. Why don't you join us? I think you should enjoy with your family. Oh, come on. Come. You know, we doctors are part of a big family here. Are you sure? Yeah. Come. So, how's life? It's going absolutely fine. How's it going with you? It's going great. How's it? She's my wife. Hi. Meet my son, Dwit. Hi, Dwit. Yes. So good to see a doctor spending time with his own family for a change. I know exactly what you mean. I don't want to offend. No, no, you're right. In fact, my wife will definitely agree with you. <laughs> um, Dr. Sumit, I, I want to ask you something. Yeah. Like, everyone is working. And then there are people who really love their job. Why doctors are so special that they can't balance it out like, like everyone else? It's because it's not just a job, it's someone's life. It's someone's pain. You know, don't mind me saying this, but no other job involves an immediate risk of life. All right, I agree, but don't you think at the end of the day, we are all working for our own families, aren't we? I don't want to sound centrist. But doctors just never work for their own families. Doctors work so that the other families can stay happy. You mean even if it hampers their own family? No doctor wants to choose between his own family and the responsibility of so many lives he has been given to save. But if he has to make a choice, I'm sure he'll do whatever it takes to save a life. Sacrifices are the unconscious part of a doctor's conscience. I don't know, maybe I'm just too weak to understand all this. You will understand. Just give yourself some time. Hopefully. Hi. Hi. Virgency is so busy today. Well, actually yes, but Dr. Harshita handled it pretty well, so... That she did, yes. So, listen, Simmer. Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. Oh, no, of course not. I understand doctors' lives are unpredictable. You don't have to worry about anything. So, you want to go tonight? I would have loved to, but... Dad has made dinner plans and he's not done that in ages, so I can't cancel. Of course, of course he can't cancel on that. So, sorry. Oh no, come on, don't be sorry. Just have fun, right? Of course. Yeah. See you. See you. I'm so sorry. I had an emergency. That's perfectly fine. Dr. Sumit gave me a good company. But I think it's my turn now. I have to go on rounds. <laughs> and probably leave from there with my family. Come. Say bye-bye. Bye, Dwet. -bye. Bye. Bye, All right, Dr. Sumit. Yeah, we'll it was meet. nice meeting you. Hello. Same here. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah. You had something? Are you hungry? Don't worry. 
I'm fine. Now tell me what do you want to talk about? I may get another call. Uh, Dr. Sumit is a really big fan of yours, huh? Nothing like that. He just understands me. Like Dr. Simha, Dr. Varun and Dr. Khatri. They all understand me. They all know what it takes to be a doctor. How many sacrifices we have to do to save somebody. You know, our daughter is very active, keeping mommy very busy. Get all the sleep you can, because you're going to be sleep deprived very soon. She won't let you sleep. understand you. Deepak, I rushed here just after saving somebody from bleeding to death. I'm not bragging about it. I'm no God. But God gave me this knowledge to save somebody. That God has made you my husband. I'm sure that God has given you the power to understand me and my profession. I understand. Doctor, her BP is down to 70 by 40. HB platelets, clotting time, and ABG all are deranged. Okay. What's happened, doctor? I think she's getting some internal bleeding again. She seems to be going into DIC. It means... Uh, it means you were supposed to have saved her life. The uterus that you took out was supposed to make her live. Sir, that's what we're trying to do. But you'll have to calm down for us to help us out. Brother, please inform the OT. We have an emergency.
Mr. Jatin, your wife is fine now. See you. You scared the hell out of me today. I can't even imagine a day without you. I will be fine. I'm not going anywhere so soon. But I can't. But don't overthink. We still have a healthy daughter. And I have you. And I don't want anything else. One can't have everything, no? Just how body recovers after removal of dead tissue, life also recovers and becomes happy with what we have left. Partnered by Times Influence.